I decided to cut out the other part of this floor pan that was right here in the center and I figured it would just be easier to cut it out then I don't have to deal with all this Swiss cheese but I come across something I don't know if that was part of the manufacturing back then this is a 1980 but this was made in the frame was stamped 79 I have a piece of steel up here someplace. There. there it is. It says 727 of 79. Got a letter A on it. It's a tag that was on the frame. It says 25H. 727. 79A. So, on that note, I don't know if these three holes back here, there's three holes crossed here, they match up with the three holes that go across the center. So it looks like I can move the seat, the rear seat back another 10 or so inches. Um, uh, maybe that's where the mounting was for the CJ5s, and then they just added this. Because this is, I believe, 9 to 10 inches longer than a CJ5. And they just left that same rib and added a new rib. And, and of course, more panels. Panels are longer, so I'm using my Erwin Hansen's fractional hex tap and die set to tap these holes. I really like them because they got the deep deep grooves or deep flues so the shavings don't stay stuck in them and break the taps. They do a really nice job. Got them 40% uh, off. At the local Ace Hardware, and they're really sharp. They uh, precision made, I'd say. Pretty nice. I'm happy with them. I have something to spray on them. To... I don't want to use any oils around everything, cause then when I go to put a Paint whatever on this, it'll make it harder to clean the metal. Try to keep all the oils away from the metal as much as possible. This will be pretty nice. I move the kids back a little farther, and they'll have a little more leg room up there. The dog will have room. <laughs> Dog's getting kind of big. Kids just went to Grandpa's house this weekend. And he's got a CJ5. Uh, 1971. CJ5. and But it's tagged a 72. There was an issue with a... Not an issue, but... Things that happened in 71 it's like the transition year like when these were coming out in uh 76 there's a little differences um with them cj5s i had uh i called willie's overland down there in ohio and they're going to repair a new CJ5 body coming from the Philippines takes about three months to do it they're going to undercoat it they got jigs where they can cut in all of your pedal holes your tailgate holes your tail light holes all your wiring your heater core holes in the firewall your steering column they have a jig that they're going to do it all for you and that's going to cost 
just over six thousand dollars. Dad's paying for it, or Grandpa is paying for it. It's his Jeep. Let's. He's retired and he got the money to do it, so he just, he's going to spend the money on it. You can see down in there how bad it looks, huh? Yeah. Put big plates down in here for the, the hinges. Now I can go back in here and clean this up a little better and I can put this plate back in here and box it back in. It's a puzzle piece. Everything's a puzzle piece. Until you get this done, or I get that done, then I get this done, and then I can get this whole piece done at the same time. I'm gonna weld those back in place first. So much grease and dirt everywhere. I don't like it. I'm trying to keep this damn thing clean. Alright, I thought I'd show you that a little bit.